Hi guys, it's Melissa from Cloud Mom. This video is about how to get your kids to eat healthy when you and they are in a rush. You know, it's all nice to have this vision of this perfect meal with rice and a protein and vegetables and fruit and milk or yogurt. But you know, in terms of the way people live nowadays, so often we're all just like on the move rushing around and it can be like a mad rush and hard to get kids to get those healthy things in there. So it's just about a couple things you can do when you have to cut corners. And I know none of us like to cut corners, but I feel like sometimes knowing which corners you can cut here and there is a solution to like remaining a sane person while you have young kids. So first, just like a quick word on the morning and what I have found to be really helpful. We have tried to get out of our breakfast rut, which was basically like cereal with banana every day. And I do try to do a fruit salad that I make like every two days or so with like grapes, you know, strawberries, maybe mango, maybe pineapple, apple, pear. And I find that when I mix it all together, my kids are more likely to try the different fruits because otherwise they're like, oh no, no, I don't want pear. I'm just an apple person. It's like, ugh. Grapes have always been an easy sell, but that's a good way to get them to try. I've even been able to slip a kiwi in there once in a while. Anyway, so I have this fruit salad, and then I'll just like one day I'll have like, I'll make like organic whole wheat waffles, another day pancakes, another day eggs, but I always just have a couple scoops of that fruit salad on the side. Then if they're saying, I'm not hungry, you know, and if it's like we're already going to be late for school, which happens quite a bit, I say, you got to finish the fruit and the milk. And we're big milk drinkers. Some people don't like milk, but that's the way I grew up and my kids drink a lot of milk and I do too. But anyway, so I always insist that the fruit and the milk has to be finished over the other stuff. Ideally, they finish everything. Okay, in terms of snacks, this has actually been kind of a hard thing because my boys, we live in the city and my kids want to go to the bakery every day, which is unhealthy and it's very expensive because each item is $3. So do the math and it's like, whoa, you're spending too much on snacks. So this is something I've struggled with. For a long time, I was giving them a sandwich because for their ages, my boys are seven, they're almost going to be nine and 10. A cookie in the afternoon just does not do the trick. It's like too much sugar and it doesn't hold them through till dinner. So I was doing a sandwich on whole wheat bread with like almond butter or you know organic peanut butter or something like that but they got so bored of it and they really don't want it anymore so here's our new thing that we're doing making cookies once a week which are oatmeal cookies with like organic whole wheat flour some raisins maybe some walnuts and throwing in a few chocolate chips and trying to make them a little mushy they tend to like it i try to cut down on the sugar even using half of what the recipe asks for it's sweet and yet it has some good energy. And that's sort of the, the newest trick I've come up with. I try to do some carrot sticks. Um, two of them will eat those readily and sliced apple. The fruit salad thing in the plastic bags, just too messy, too mushy, doesn't really work. So that's what I'm trying to do for snack, a couple sort of quick things that they can eat on a rush that they like. But anyway, I'm always open to new ideas. I'm trying not to do too much processed food or prepared food. If you guys have tricks when it comes to breakfast or snacks, and eating on the go, please weigh in. I'd love to hear them. Recipes, love to read them. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time on Cloud Mom.